As you guys can see, we are playing the God of War PS2 game on our Android device with the help of my PS2 emulator. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Atrix here. Today, we'll be taking a look at a brand new PS2 emulator for Android devices, which can also be called as the continuation of Aether SX2 as well as PC SX2 Android port. Now, this emulator has been officially launched on Play Store and it is called as my PS2. It is from an Korean developer, but you'll be able to read the description of this emulator. The developer says that you need high spec hardware. CPU and GPU for example if you have snapdragon let's say like 660 processor or above then you should be good with emulating ps2 games on android we'll be checking out the gameplay best settings and setup in today's video so be sure to watch the video till the end and you will be able to see that it is built from the pcsx2 source code PCSX2 is one of the first best PS2 emulators completely open source for PC which wasn't released for Android devices but now we have PCSX2 ports. So this emulator should be pretty stable and should be able to run games with really good performance. That's what we'll be checking out in our today's video. So once you have added the my PS2 emulator on your Android devices, just go ahead and tap on the play button and it should start in the landscape mode. I'll just go ahead and tap on don't allow. Now first of all this UI is pretty minimalistic. It will ask you to add or import the game file into this emulator. You can also tap on the i card and check out uh, some of its privacy policy app info etc. Nonetheless I'll just go ahead and add a game. The next step is to just go ahead and open the game folder and afterwards tap on the upload button that you see right here. After you tap on it, towards tap on the file local copy option. Import our PS2 game into the my PS2 emulator. For that, just go ahead and choose your PS2 game. This is very important step. Afterwards, you'll be able to see the progress of your game being imported. Now you'll need to make sure to import the games inside the game directory itself or else it will not be detected by the my ps2 emulator now my ps2 emulator does not ask for many permissions or storage permissions that's why uh, this method is what we'll need to use instead of providing some permissions so i think this is an pretty secure app let's see how well does it actually work though in terms of emulating a ps2 game we'll be testing out god of war ps2 game on this emulator once it has been imported we'll just go ahead and tap on the cross button and afterwards you'll be able to see that our god of war ps2 game is now being showcased along with its uh, cover art so this is pretty amazing the next step is to simply tap on the game and it will automatically boot it now that's how simple it is to emulate ps2 games on your android devices in 2024 we didn't have to go through any hard uh, tutorials or anything like that it is that simple and you'll be able to notice that the game is running at straight up 60 fps that's why it's so smooth we'll get this type of control uh, options where the start and select button are placed at the right side and we have x o triangle square buttons and a joystick now i'll just go ahead and choose the mortal difficulty and i'm pretty sure that the game is being emulated at straight up 60 fps even the audio output is completely working and just take a look at the graphics. Now if you want to modify some uh, things then you can do that too by uh, tapping on the settings option and then tap on uh, stretch aspect ratio so you get a uh, full screen aspect ratio. We will also enable the show fps counter option so you will be able to see we are getting straight up 60 fps and we can also change d-pad types as you guys can see there are multiple types but I like to keep type 1 as default we can enable d-pad. We can also enable right stick and yeah that's how simple it is to emulate ps2 games on our android devices and set up uh, the my ps2 ps2 emulator for android now we can't really skip this cutscene so i'll be back once the game actually starts all right there we go guys the game has successfully started we have skipped the cutscene and you'll be able to notice that the graphics quality is not that great there is no resolution upscaling option but the performance is pretty amazing straight up 60 fps that's what you always want and it is a very very smooth gameplay experience with no graphical issues at all so definitely it will give you an original ps2 gameplay uh, type of vibe if you are using this my ps2 emulator and i definitely do recommend it because it is one of the new ps2 emulators that is available on play store as aether sx2 has been officially taken down and is completely dead so yeah guys that's going to be it for today's video hopefully there are new settings like uh, increasing the screen resolution etc in future but that's going to be it for today's video though thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the latest updates of this emulator that's all though i'll see you guys next time goodbye